Fraud's used to, if he's going to be able to mm -hmm. see a Yoru on the comp, what they could do with this in this double duelist setup. A, sm a slow default to start, but Inji now forward on a 3-2 split towards this A site. You see first contact. Looking to get initiated by JZZ. Here's a running bait board. Right behind the smoke is going to be Zeppa. He drops first blood right now, and that's two to go. Zeppa! Within the round, as finally gets answered back by Artisan, at least onto Oxy. Spike has been dropped, and Cloud9 already has the advantage. Already! Oh, it stolen! Let's have a few buys across the board. Nothing too extreme. Oxy with a Guardian. Ooh. And the flash already gets early info, so Cloudburst gets popped up, Ooh. and as soon as it comes down, though, at least it's a one for one. The dog comes out from the portal, and C9 swarms in within the showers, and they drop the two players trying to address from MIBR. At least RGL and the rest of MIBR okay. sees that pressure. They want to move back towards the short, and they even things up on a 3 3, fighting towards the back of the site. Yeah, Oxy just got the call that it might be coming towards him. He pulls back, but now hearing that spike plant is able to take the gate crash. They were ready. For that to come across. Ready to push towards the spawn. But the numbers are still dwindling down right now for our MIBR in this eco. At least they've upgraded to an a guardian and a bulldog with the spike down for them. There's a first orb being thrown down by Whippy. The tap on the spike. RGL has to peek for some info. Spots the dome of vanity as that allows FRZ to push forward towards pipes and give the advantage here for our MIBR to potentially get this thrifty. Whippy. The spike is not even at halfway, and this is great discipline by MABR to just hold it down. He does get the first pick on the FRZ, but that clock is running down too little That's too time. late. MRBR will be able to answer wow. back, and they tie up the game. The second round, taking that away from Cloud9. I, I think M... Blue Bug comes out into Hookah, at least to scout things out, and that inches C9 to find some information, and already FRZ gets the punishment. See JZZ. And Mazin coming out of that shower, they're able to help each other with a guiding light, but it's all about short. <laughs> they're still pretty good. It might be hard to get the backstab after for these trades. Yeah. But it's only a buck in a classic left for the last two players of Cloud9. Go together trying to work towards the short. Spike has been planning in a really great spot for this triangle formation you have for MIBR towards the back of the A site. But these upgrades that you have now for Oxy and Vanity, these are rifles and definitely players that could get it done at the disadvantage. Second round now, MABR has taken the spawn side of defense. Nice. There's that first nice pick, though. Knows that RGL's just around the corner. The flash in the front, nice second shot. Vanners. Now we're coming in for the tap. Artisan's still waiting towards the top, and now once again, you just wait the clock down. More discipline coming out of MIBR. Tap on the spike, trying to at least get the gun away from Artisan. It's not going to happen. Oxy dies, and MIBR take the lead after wow. the red. Finally sussing out Whippy, who is pushed up. To stop that, and again, towards A Vance, it's not stopping. It's a quick combo to drop Zeppa. You already see that Oxy's inside that teleporter. The doctor opened the spot, gets the stun. He's trying to find the time oh. to get the pick and finally does so. So he ends up the situation in round number four. Jake under heavy attack towards the U-Haul. There's the lineup. Oh, oh, and third! Oh, the team falls remaining. down. That includes the spike. RGL in a clutch situation. Four against him. Stuck all the way far oh, behind yeah. towards short A. Wild to see, see that happen. And Cloud9 still putting up the same defense that MIBR's run through a few times, and we see that, that there's a reason they'll keep positioning like this. Jake can hold down U Haul. But Oxy got the drive by running back within the sign, and look at that early rotate coming back yeah. towards the A side as well. These reads are starting to look really good here for C9, but down. Jake just falls. Ooh, that's the shot. Looking to Welcome send out the cabbages. Okay, ultimate down. Interesting play. Just putting a little bit of pressure onto that B site that Kaladine has to care about, but how much will they put into that? Leaving two members, they have each site guarded two and two. Trial. And it's going to be that U-Haul work again here for MIBR just to try and make C9 make the error. Especially with those Seekers coming out of the TP game across. Oh, MIBR is looking to work towards this A site. Oxy's a second to fall. Beautiful flash out from MIBR. Save. Vanity's there to help standing. as much as he can. But instantly we get the plant, TP comes across, and they know Zeppa's on the flank. Spike down, planet at a default spot. And Zeppa's looking to at least try to find players falling back within this short area. Wow. The Jiggle Peak from Arazine just spotted him. And we're just setting up, and it's looking very good for MIBR to finalize round number six. Oxy comes out with a laser beam to start this off, and the, and the conversion goes to MIBR with four members to still make it work towards the A site. Really well played throughout the round.
to get C9 moving a little bit. I think that's almost one of the best things uh, MIBR can do right now is the longer you wait and the less info C9 has, you're going to get them off of their... Oh, they see quite a bit. Trailblazer on long. Oh, the TP to get away, but that showstopper is still activated. Oh dear. Now we're forcing him out towards the hookah. Shot comes nice. down. He stays alive at 9 HP. Rotates coming across for C9 already as five members of MIBR are clouding towards this B site. Plant will be successful as Oxy's getting ready. He wants to drift. With 9 HP, and that's the best you could do right here. Get information for your team. The flash will have for them to come out, but it's MIBR just waited and greeted C9 running through that smoke. They take the advantage. The TP comes across. Oxy's alone, and he's going to try to save this weapon. Wow. Absolutely closed down on B site. MIBR really utilizing the alts well, knowing what they have as an advantage, and they did not slow down. Even missing Oxy there, really well played, but towards the fountain, and only Oxy alone trying to get some audio cues. This will solidify a full retake here for C9. Struggling currently on those, Oxy helps it out. Coming into this round right now, C9 1 and 5 on the retakes. And they put themselves in a position to make this a round where they have to. Let's see if they can make it in. Already Oxy taking down JCC. Seekers with a flash. Trying to get some info, but I think the Seekers got shot down right away, so don't get too much. Oh, oh no! Zemba's just trying to deny the lineups here from both players of MIBR towards the palm tree of Short A, but decides to leave it. Prepare. Live to fight another day. That's not good at all, because that's the orbital strike of Molly and two snake bites available for MIBR, so this might be a so done low. deal for them on the attack. Look at him falling back. He can just play the time right now for the attack. Yeah, and that's uh, just going to be C9 trying to run away on this one. Not ready. Nice Ooh. kill, but it's not going to matter when the spike's going to go off and the round still going to win my VR. You're putting in a position where it's going to be difficult for you to dog here. You're going to decay as you dog down towards the short. He still stays alive within the back. The satchels now to try to clear it out. And Whippy to get, gets that pick. And there you go. The great position across for C9. Short at least stops that pick from staying oh, he knew. And the showstopper then comes out, leaving MIBR scattered towards the back of the A. They couldn't control all uh, on the short side for the attack. And uh, gets denied right away. Felt a bit like the pistol round strat. Zeppa just kind of hiding within the smokes that MIBR is creating again there. Able to get quite a few frags. Oh no. <laughs> you ready for this? <laughs> Mazin's like, oh my gosh, what is going on? <laughs> so it looks like they'll have the one, two hookah here. As well as long B for Mazin. 30 seconds left. Yeah. This is looking good for C9 at least to win the round, but where MBR is finding that success is on these pulse plants. So mm -hmm. C9 continues now having to use an ult actually to defend and prevent MIBR to really get within this A site or any site whatsoever. With 10 seconds left, still committed here. 10 seconds left. Plant attempt coming out from Azim to first TP. And now with the spike going Five down, it's down too late B. here for RGL to come out to get the plant. So very well done for the defenders within that B site. And that's Vanity with the play from Long B. Are trying to gain this space towards this A site. Artazine with the blade storm on the top. That's why he has the off here. So he can try to open up with the daggers. But Whippy still scores the first blood within the round. And C9 doesn't want to peek out. They just want to wait here for the tap to come down. Whippy finally gets a pick and off the road through the TPs, though. The time was running down. Somehow, Vanity's trying to keep it alive for C9. The two versus one as the updraft to actually break his crosshair placement. Beautifully done for MIBR as FRZ picks up the kill. Do their signature. Mm -hmm. This is what we know from C9 last year. And to just try to go for trap plays on the defense more aggressive. This time, as the clock's, clock's didn't even down, C9's just waiting towards the back of this A site. So Jake's able to do a little bit of work here with this Vandal that he's seen as the Seeker comes out, which will allow MIBR to get the plan. Zephma getting caught with nade in hand, and RGL gets the wall bang. Even nonetheless, Zephma got the kill with the Bucky. Our FRZ was hardly behind U-Haul for the instant trade. So nice work from MIBR. Oxy trying to move back within the Guardian. Off angle weighted by FRZ. Nice little bait and switch coming out of MIBR. Now Vanity's stuck with only but a classic. There's a rifle long range there at triple that you can pick up. Dog's going to spot him too. Now we'll see if MIBR wants to be a little bit more antsy. If they're going to try to chase this kill and get punished. There's a tap on the first one. Nice peek. Well done here for MIBR in the end. I mean, look at how they swung out on that three versus one.
that they're hitting. And you see C9 wants to stop that shower hit now. They try to get themselves into position, but that might be ours now. The other side of the map, and Oxy quickly cleans that up. Again, some fun these attempt by MIBR. The wide swing to come out in a second to be, but Oxy, rookie right now for C9. Yeah. It's always quick on the trigger. Even through the drifts, he's now two players for as long. It's just gonna get that info at least to keep them back. Great info. They're still waiting to see how ready they are for this A hit. MIBR has come back so much. And they may be correct on this. Two, three, the anchor is for C9. Everybody is an anchor right now. No one's moving. Realizing how MIBR has tried to flip the map so many times and just continue to end today. So we're trying to play mind games here. The mm -hmm. drift spotted the two players towards long being RGL and FRZ, but then we get a flash on the attack for Tuka to keep those players there. So the other players of MIBR that yeah. were spotted earlier on could try to maybe surprise one. Almost got that first Toxin, contact and pick, but it's spotted here by Jake. Now the crossfire set up towards the showers. Easy kill for Whippy onto FRZ. As the last two players, I mean, you heard the dog, so C9's gonna be ready for this one. <sighs> Sights vertically split again. Got to get out of you all safely. And there's one Whippy already on Mazen. Ten seconds left. Slow. <laughs> Zeppa's just gonna clean that one up. You already see a Sheriff out from Artazine. Double flash of Mazin with armor. So they're trying to go with the aggression and it works Spike out. The spike's down. already down. Trades, trades, trades. Always here for MIBR is the name I of the game. The Quickly picked up as Vanity says, okay, bye. <laughs> Heads out of that situation. Showers has been on lockdown here for Oxy. So that's going to get a little help in getting there. Oh! And that's the thing. Cursed. You're doing such a good job here for MIBR with the pressure that you added at the beginning of this pistol. And now you're funneling C9 to cut noise, trying to find some information within the A site, and you're playing against a Sheriff long range from yeah. Artazine. Now he plays it all the way back towards the Get site. Out. And he could just play the retake now on a two-player advantage. Slowly playing this one. This vanity and Whippy to plant. Or maybe get the rotate out and do a little TP. They're just gonna double up, see who they could have gotten off the first fake plant on a full rounder truck. All right. Good communication at least. They get the orb up here, so if Vanity can actually start falling back for advance, so now you're keeping them, might be our guessing. Is there somebody down towards at short A, but it's currently being flanked here by Mazin, so they'll get this information very quickly and can flood towards the U-Haul. There's the orb coming up again. Vanity looking to be the first contact. Now we're thundering through the right clicks. Almost gets the one. Almost gets the second one, rather. And now Whippy's on a two versus one. The flash, he turns away from it, trying to get the shot, gets the kill. Now it's halfway with the wall coming down. Here comes the white swing. The shiver at 15 HP is Whippy. Trying to come across. Close for eight and a bullet. Whippy gets the kill. And the Red Bull clutch with a pistol of Cloud9. They'll fight everything right now, it seems. I love it. Squeeze the orbs up there. They're forced to TP. Maybe oh, a big, chaos. beautiful flash. There's that swing coming out from both ends. But Cloud9 has better weaponry. Mm -hmm. So that's a two for one trade in favor of Cloud9. And now they could just stop it. That trap play you attempted from MBR gets foiled. And this gives a chance here for C9 to just group together and play the distance here against the classics that you currently have on the defensive side of MIBR. Good to see from a team able to organize themselves around such a chaotic situation. C9 assessed it perfectly. Now entering B. You gotta suss out the rest of these members. Yeah, that's pretty good. FRZ, though, at least. Ooh. A side, but we re TP on the other end. Maybe overthinking it. There's two players still alive for MIBR within the site. They have the weapon advantage. Artisan stops the Zeppa on that fake towards the A side. And here's that nice flash coming out from Oxy, who then comes in towards the Octagon. Mazin down to 8 HP. Beautiful bird! As another one falls, a lineup on the second one, a one for one, but a disadvantage for C9. Aiming down the site, trying to get that first pick, but unfortunately the shots do not connect. And it might be are they re so still holding towards the U-Haul. If C9 is thinking about the first two rounds of second half, it was a pile of four members of MIBR. So they've been teleporting back and forth. And a triple swing right after the flash. Oxy's trying to get the second kill there on to RGL. Oh boy. Orbital strike coming through. The spike miss has fallen somehow. And Zeppa again is the last player remaining. <laughs> A lot of ultimates could be had here by Cloud9. Just one orb for four members, and Vanity gets his. I want to walk up for a contact and surprise the shower's push. Yeah. Works out for a trade at least. 
and they have a dimensional drift to get the information. So there's who's next. This is going to be pretty good for C9 to gain at least map control yeah. and allow here for JK to try to run out and get the plant. Also, orbital strike available. Molly, if they try to fall back at this point, this is nicely done there as JZZ is caught in the corner. So you're gonna try to fall back. I love the double flank that we currently have here from MIBR. The Seekers took out. Mazine gets the drop onto Oxy. Wow. And even the push for the spawn is, gets denied by FRZ. Numbers back at the advantage of MIBR. The weapon not strong for C9. Only two stingers. Jake is low on HP. Trying to hold his ground here towards the showers. Trying to stay alive. There's that first Jakey. nice pick there onto Mazine to allow Whippy to get this backstab. But Artisan is still sticking on that spike. Finally, the jiggle remaining. across. There's that backstab. And now we can push across. Oh, and the fuse still comes through. They're going to... They're gonna hear each other almost, I think. Oh, they heard it. Yeah. Oxy turns around here as Mazine gets created. Oh. Zeppa's the one that's waiting all the way towards showers. But JZZ also has a timing. The timing across the showstopper out connection, but then trade it right away. Down and Wiggy was still holding towards that fountain. It was gonna get scrappy no matter what through that TP play. Fire in the hole! Advantage now for Cloud9. Showstopper misses. The pit comes out. We're trying to secure the round now. <laughs> oh, man. I love the crowd again. It's I good to be it. back. On the money. RGL, RGL, though, a nice pick onto Zeppa. Two versus two. Oh, the tag there onto it. Be down to 16 HP. True Playing one. close within his Oxy. Just on the edge of that pit. He senses and for Z coming through and gets that pick a one versus one the pit comes down though as whippy gets picked off rgl trying to scale up now from triple the lights are across rgl gets the pick and the defuse and mibr scores up at 11. four on c9's map pick pit comes out early on the defense so that now forces c9 to try to wrap around Ooh, jesus he could have had that one but oxy punishes him as he misses the shot frz holding within the pit here with his judge. He's gonna avoid a little bit of that utility, but that's still gonna allow C9 to plant for showers. Oh, nice flash. Gotcha. Not pushing through. He's making himself known though with this judge, FRZ. And his teammates are so far back within the pit. Two players now walking in and that's the pit down. Finally, C9, they're finding some good value here of working together with the utility. I feel like MABR is not allowing this composition of C9s to work at its fullest. Yeah. Although C9 Who's was next? able to drop that Viper's Pit. Mm -hmm. It's not out of the fire pit yet. Still trailing by three rounds. Op still available now for Artisan. Blade Storm. Hero Rifle saved by Mazine as well. And there comes the flank from behind. Somehow gets the double kill with the shorty. Very nicely done to wrap around behind here on the execution of C9. And that's a second attempt now to save the Vandal. The AWP has been dropped. 3-2 split here from C9. The rotation here. is coming back in from JZZ. And again, let's see how much they crash in behind uh, Oxy here if they do decide to go in. It's Oxy that's trying to crash behind them as well. TPing out, but Vanity and Whippy are there at least for the trade. So great space created by Oxy. Oh. JZZ trying to find a timing running out through the smoke, but couldn't surprise mm -hmm. his opponent Zeppa. <sighs> It's almost down to nothing, but gets the heal top up from Vanity. Spike Viper down fight. and planet here for C9. And a Viper on Viper. Whippy wins that duel and eliminates FRZ. <laughs> Only Mazine and GCZ left up towards the pipes at the spawn. Both spotted by Jake. And what does that mean? Another save here from MVR. Another save. And what is this? Sh Stepping right here within the Americas. And he's doing a great job once again to create the space for C9. Only one round away for C9 to tie up the game. And as MIBR is trying to find an answer on this eco, it works out for a small trade here within this B site. Look at this push that you currently have from Artisan. Oof. And this is where not having a sentinel comes into play. Our zine on that large flank. Gonna wait for just a moment here. It feels like somebody might be watching. Or he knows it's a fig. He heard the snake by going out for long. B and is like, no, it's not happening. It's towards the east <laughs> site. So the rest of it might be our rotating towards the spawn. They have an Whippy. opportunity to go for the backstab here, but Whippy, six cents, turns around and eliminates our zine. How does he know? One of those lurkers. You want Oxy to keep it going. Closed. This spot being very strong right now on Vine now. Trying to go for the battle against FRZ. Who the defender wins it. 
trying to make the economy a little bit more expensive for C9 within the next rounds. I mean, you've mentioned it, Riv. It's been looking pretty good for C9 with the economy. They've been building round after round. Nice shot from Azine as well, out with the Marshal. Orb comes across, the tap's coming through, and both players of C9 are out towards the showers, and as the orb comes down now, it's too late. Couldn't aim down the site. They will focus on towards the B site. Oh, MIBR is trying to join the party, oh. pushing down towards Long B as they heard the showstopper towards Uka. The first and second kills come out in favor of C9. Mazine and Oxido pushing it out. That's the spike down. Oxy was in a 4v1 over here, but then more people join, and it's actually two going down for C9 now. They run back a quick drift for Oxy as he goes dimensional on this one, and they should know the site's clear. Don't have to commit, though. It looks like they're still being quite tentative on it. A lot of these. Trying to go for a flash towards the spawn. Oh, the long range, too. Operator down. Off to Shorty. Oxy read that and plays the distance to win it with the Vandal. TP's away. Advantage for C9. Double up towards U-Haul as Oxy's playing back to the backstab here. The post plan. The last player to watch the flank. But the dog spots both players of MIBR towards the spawn. Hand to hand, Whippy is just trying to hold them back with another snake bite towards the ground. There's that flash for a peek towards the front. It's beautiful. Both of them fall for wow. MIBR. Beautiful discipline and play for C9. Get out of showers once again. Grenade. Behind Oxy. This is actually great plays right now from MIBR. JZ gets the pick onto Oxy and they're trying to push forward. Orbital strike even to push them back to slow down the pace that C9 has. I love the utility play that you currently train. have here from MVBR to get a perfect read on C9 split within this A site. As C9 is trying to answer back, Seeker is oh. out. The dog's going to hit JZZ, but he satchels away and back into safety. MVBR have the power of numbers here. Went within the A site. The satchels comes across RGL on top of the truck, but Jake and Whitby are right back. Close range. Oh, the show oh, denied oh, right oh. away. And Jake comes back with confidence. Needing only one more kill onto FRZ to close up the first map. 30 seconds left. Another TP across within this B site. The disadvantage though for MIBR is you're trying to play with a judge. So if you get a perfect timing here with the judge, you might get the win. But Jake's waiting right there, gets the pick, and C9 will close off the first map with a 13 to 11 victory. Four players moving forward for MIBR in. Jake had the sixth sense to want to start falling back within this one. But there's so much KJ utility right here to support Jake towards the back of the site. There is that dash forward and even the microwave set up there from Whippy to drop two, but Mazine wrapped over the back of that B site. RGL Meister even traded off at the pillar onto Vanity. So instantly what looks so good is back into MIBR's advantage. Paint Shells almost got that kill out from Oxy onto Mazine. At least the players are low for MIBR. Yep, a tried and true just blast on the B. Zeppa, enough time to look for the flank. He calls it correctly. Last Important 1v1 right here, and it's won by FRZ. Difficult now for Oxy. A disadvantage against Guys three out. players. Make that two. And look how passively we're playing. RGL is all the way back towards spawn. So there's the grab well for the first one. And FRZ could just wait it out. He has a ghost. So there's no more delay available after the Nova Pulse coming out from RGL. And there's that stick on the spike. The 3 2 1 for the double swing. And yeah, RGL. To fully connect with it. Right into sight, MIBR goes once they detect somebody up top on heaven. Open sight right now for a plant. Gamble plant out in the open. Nobody running outside of the smoke. So good enough here for MIBR to play and free game Ooh. control of heaven. And off that pick, there's the Seekers we were talking about here. An opportunity for MIBR to convert this bonus round to get information on two players at least towards this A heaven side. And after that flash, all of C9 pivots towards the screens, waited in. Stopped at least for one frag, but instantly traded off and then again toying with that the last few rounds with the team. Now they just leave it up to use the gas and play mind games. They use the timing of that smoke to allow JZZ to double satchel out, catching Seppa off guard within the spawn. But Jake is still out alive rather in the back of the site. Vanity dropping down with two players, showstopper out. Oh, Vanity did not race it. It's still a two versus two. Flash to come out. Nice shot by Mazine. Can't use that yet. Players are low, but the heal then comes out from Mazine onto RGL, making it harder for Whippy to try to win this one. Spike planted. Low armor now, low HP. First contact, he knows the second one's the planner. The 3 2 1 again for MIBR. Looking to just push forward within this A site. Now they finally sought the uh, spot the turret within this A site. For them to decide now if they want to fall back 
But just explode now with the power numbers. KJ and Sky for C9 stuck within the A site. They waterfall into this utility. Could be big. The shots have to hit though. Still hidden. 30 seconds left. Flash for our timing. That's nice for Whippy and Zeppa in the back of the side. Beautiful hold in the end. Oxy with the cavalry for the support in the back. Pain Shell's pushing FRZ away. And with 18 seconds left, spike down within the A site. Not much here that Thra could do. Drop. Boomba just saw there. Vanity trying to work within the vents. Yep. All right, trying to dog it back just to force GZZ in the 1v1 stuck within vents now. As he goes for the snake by Vanity. Hello. Never turned around. Should have been ready for that, but Oxy is at least within the B site. Showstopper now out. Trying to trade it out against Vanity, who got dropped by GZZ just within these vents. That was a. <laughs> Yes, indeed, another Rosa, but Mazine still clean with it with the shots. JZZ with the late lurk. A baited shot from Zephyr to look back towards the male, allowing C9 to regain the advantage within round seven. Mazine's just trying to play the timing. But it's better for C9, both walking back towards the spawn. Mazine sticking the plant, and there's that swing out for Zeppa for yep. the kill. A double satchel up there, Seekers to come out on the attack. There's that lockdown to prevent the attackers oh. from moving within the A site. Nice pick wow. from JZZ though, as Zeppa falls first. But that timing of the lockdown coming down, it doesn't allow MIBR to move within the site right. for a plant. But still giving time for C9 to rotate across to refight as MIBR is cutting noise. Hit number two. MIBR with a second attack. Oxy gets the timing, tries to get the spray, but at least Vanity's spike there for the kill. Down, That's a spike down towards hell. Artisine trying to go for the spray transfer. Goes to World Counters, or GL. Oh, the this time the flash is towards main. Seekers instantly coming out here Whoa. for Zeppa, as Oxy once again comes in for the support from the top. So it doesn't matter if there's a Toxic Green being pushed out Toxic from the attacking side. As finally Thra picks it up, turns around within the back of the side, and FRZ will get the plan at least for MIBR. Satchel on the other end. Ooh, nice little new kill coming out. Oxy will get the last one for the I by Power Race. Amazing hit there. The Astra utility coming in to just alley oop the rest of it for the I by Power Race. And mind you, those watching right now screaming at Oxy, and those watching at home. I mean, I by Power, our new, our new sponsor, a new partner right now for the. America's VCT and what they're doing currently is for every ace they're actually giving out a PC. That's quite sick. So if you want to get more information, check out their socials at, at iBuyPower for a PC. It's going to be given out for every single iBuyPower ace. Not quite sure what's happening, but still feel very, you can see they're comfortable in their offensive positions. Oxy showing it there with the first one. Yeah, definitely. You don't need to move right away. And there's an adaptation. Uh, unfortunately, it's a showstopper that lands and greets. Whippy, advantage back for MIBR as they take control of this B site. At least in terms left. of the power of Five numbers, planted. it's a three versus three. Oxy has a showstopper for the retake. Pain shells to clear out the front of the B site. Satchel within the front, right in the face of Artazine. Special delivery. Now as he pushes forward to tap on that spike and both players so far away and it's gonna be difficult here for Mazine to go for the flank unless RGL can hold it a little bit longer. They're expecting it. The swing out. Dirt. Zephyr is waiting for it, but it's a one, one for one. Now Mazine's stuck on the top. Mind games are coming through. Just saw the reload of Vanity at the pillar. Now a second tap as Vanity gets a third within the round. C9 walking it towards that flank. The timing is good, at least for my VR. They have the time to go back through vents out within the A site. Right. And just before the wall comes up, FRZ gets that pick onto Whippy. Two from vents, one all the way around. How long will it take, Zeppa? Too long. His teammates are falling down now within the vents. Jake Elise trades it off, 30 HP remaining. Last player standing. Ooh. Now, against the world, last round of the half. Zeppa just holding towards the B main, does get the first and second pick. Two left. Dog Healthy. available, no flashes. The, shirt, the shot comes in from Artzine on the top of the B site, or the A site rather, but it's planet for them pretty much. So look at him pull back, just letting Zeppa come towards them as he runs forward. Based on the shot! Ball. But couldn't get the kill onto oh FRC. At the end, MIBR ties up the- They can weave in and out of this wall if they want to make sure heaven is there. This space is free to take. A little bit tougher now, not double duelist. They have to go in together. It's well done. The pain shell still 
to split the attack from C9 and isolates Oxy running in alone. Mm -hmm. Druid will get that kill here for MIBR. That was a frenzy kill from JZZ. And as you heard the turret earlier down. run from C9, that's players from MIBR that was pushing down and they know the B site's open. Then I need the whole time's been lurking there, so they just book it within this B site for a free play. Toxins so big for Vanity's positioning. He can Toxins also hear anybody down. coming through Van rotations through upper uh, mail room. Yeah, really smart stuff. I think this is expect Toxins what we expect to up. see from brains on this squad. And Vanity is going to find the first one. The jig is up. Nicely done. Heard left. the footsteps of Vanity running Five across. Planet Elise comes down now for C9. B Heaven now back in control for MIBR and especially FRZ with the flank watch. So there's no good post plant positions for C9 currently on our two versus four. They have to come up huge with these ghosts. Both Jake and Whippy double swing now to fight towards the B main. Wrapping across. There's a wraparound towards the back, but instantly RGL and GZZ. One shot, not activated just yet. He can fall behind and then get out. This is the first. Oh, actually, he did connect onto Oxy. He's yes. down to 10 HP. RGL is able to help him out from hell. Recall Soul gets a second kill. That's good enough here to get his second to allow now MRBR to have potentially an easier retake. Nine Zeppa has something to say. Pushing out towards a spawn to head and kill onto Artazine. This time picking up the Guardian, but GZZ wins that. This might be one of them. They do the same guiding light towards B, then go towards mid. So they, they, they flex on the conditioning that they've been going B every round. B, B. This time with the guiding light, they make sure they peek mid to see if there's any quick rotation. Cloud9 working a bit off of the precedence they've been setting here. That's just the one frag. It's been in sight when they're having trouble. Vanity's able to find these lurks though, and it's helping. He knows that there's a push down yeah. towards the middle. So at least now the Seekers comes out on the attack, allowing for us to really get within this B site for C9. Mm -hmm. And the spray that went through behind the Seeker, another player from MIBR fell. Spike planted. Nice push. Keep going through Oxy, looking for the aggression. Easy kill on Artsine there. And the lurk around for Mazine here for an exit. I didn't expect to see too much of it, but yeah, commitment here. Boombot also wouldn't spot behind oh, the box. This is huge here for GZZ. A flash, now a double swing. Oh man, Oxy just got denied right away, but at least Zeppa and Whippy are just behind for these trades. The smoke's about to dissipate. It catches one off guard, oh, oh. and Mazin wins that fight. No trade coming out from Jake, who falls back towards the ramen. Meanwhile, Vanity was looking for a push towards that B main. There's nobody there, and that's going to slow down the pace with the disadvantage now for, for C9. So we get our first round mid, and just about everybody is there for the moment. Amazing stuff. Still a 2v3 as the lurk down mid for MIBR to suss out who might still be ready to fight. And that's going to be Artisan bringing out the Blade Storm. Actually held it for the round until they wanted to secure it with great force. So they're going to know the B hit's probably coming in off these steps and the plant. Now they move in. 30 seconds left. Planted. Yeah, it's a safe plant. The double flank went out from long. Poison Orb Ooh. out here from Vanity Ooh. down at 1 HP. Up to Jake to try to find the timing. Last player standing. Snake Bite to take down. At least slow down the yeah. attack and good line of scrimmage a very push forward line of scrimmage here for mibr timing on this dash activating oh, dashes oh. forward though at least up drafts away We've that's safe for now exactly actually that's why i don't play duelist yep exactly we we'll always do that hey you can see how much they just want to press w hearts and now looking for another shot ultimate towards mid they're going to leave that down oh no they keep it up just the deterrent rotating through that, making sure there's no flank. And again, C9 want B. They don't have Oxy to get in though. Who's first? That's the question. You have no choice. There's no control towards middle. There's no information towards the A side. So you're just trying to Oof. get, trade. get the numbers right within the B site. Spike is down. Nice shot by Whippy. A chance to get this round. He's going for a fake tap, giving a lot of time here for GZZ to rotate across with Mazine from the top of B Heaven. Showstopper, they just want to guarantee it. Gets off the spike, paint shells coming down. Oh, that's going to hurt. Everything's going to hurt here. <laughs> Fully blinded to. This man's on point. Jiggle out from Vanity. Three players rotating back from the A site, back up towards middle. Lockdown available for Whippy for a hit as well. 
but it's a cosmic divide to start things off. Nice shot here from Vanity with the utility being thrown as the Viper. JZZ holding down towards the hell, but spike finally gets stopped. B. Not until it's a two versus one with the spike down in the open. Big flank coming out towards B main. Vanity is just looking to pick it up. Pit available. Wall comes down. Welcome to my and now they world. know exactly that he's down towards the double box. Shot out from our Artazine, but this time will not connect. One Trying to walk back remaining. out. Nice shot there onto Mazine. Artazine, it's going to be difficult for him now to try to retake the site with a knock. No dash. Moves forward and spots him right there. Four wow. in the this orb is actually giving an advantage for Artazine to reposition himself on the other side. Now as the orb comes down, gets a nice headshot there onto Oxy, the up jump. Oh! Away. To allow JZZ to push forward. Stuck with a nade in his hands. Jakey moves forward to get the fake with the Guardian. And a flash to push the players back on the defense from MVR. But the advantage still for the defensive side. Seeker is coming out to get the information on all three. You so Whippy run. has to make a move now within the B side. It starts with a lockdown. Yeah. And to break the Seekers. And the other two are still down towards the A side. So yep. you're keeping players from MVR with an A. So the Seeker is actually giving false information. They dip out. Smokes are all set up. Enough stars to cover the site. A quick gravity well denies the instant hit, giving rotation time now to MIBR. Very well done for RGL. A flash to come out within the smoke too. And there's that first contact, but it's a trade. Still a player advantage. Seeker's out on the attack. All three players now spotted towards the B heaven, allowing Zeppa to cross over to go for a safe plant. Jake has to try to make a play, now pushing towards the spawn. So Zeppa, the only thing he could do is try to jiggle, stay alive, fight towards the Astros. Balcony. Jake is about to get swung here by RGL and he wins it. The double step. I seen drop down towards the hell. Support coming back as Jake is playing towards the spawn. There's that first pick from Mazine. Jake on a two versus one. The shots now positioning Artazine with the off, misses it as that pick comes in for Jake. Reload, tap on a spike, the jiggle, oh, oh yeah, it stays alive for a bit as Mazine has to go in to try to bring it to halfway, and he'll do so. He's not gonna get Jake off it. Jake is just he's winning not... it. Oh, now he off. does get off it here as Jake is walking back out. There's a tap, Mazine with the off angle, wins that 1v1, and MIBR will push this to a third round. We're going to Lotus in again, Mazine in a situation. We'll see what, uh, what they refine within this round. Right. And here it comes. Chat crowd. There it is. And the first contact. Oh, three! Instantly get dropped by GZZ. Keep going. But Vanity's still there to try to help as much as he can. Whippy now the last player standing on a three versus one. The head shot onto FRZ, but he's low at half HP. The tap oh, on the oh, second oh. one. RGL's low. Nades coming out, but that's going to be a full stick. With the perfect need out from Artazine to push Whippy back. We're gonna get a hack of a B fight, or a C fight rather. Mazine still has a snake bite, so they did a good job to use the KJ util, but there's that Molly on the ground. Easy here for MIBR to just start spraying across. Wingman's trying to make it up, and that's four players instantly falling down, including the spike. And a flawless round. Really cool tricks as they go in. Fresh has been used already. This is a hard hit coming in from C9. Yeah, they know it's now open. There's that Seekers to answer right back because MIBR is already on top of the heaven. A spike comes down for a Wingman. Even more utility from Vanity just to keep them at bay at the top of the heaven side. Finally, we're circling in, funneling Fresh through. A flash to try to gain some space. A tap Fake. on the spike. Satchel's Fake coming across as well for C9. As Mazine's holding within the smoke, Oxy finally gets that pick, but it gets instantly traded out. A four versus four as Oxy falls. It's not looking good here. Three and three. The defuse actually being stuck currently. C9's not there to really help it. Finally, at halfway, gets dropped. Oh. Vanity runs forward for these two kills. You have a flank at least for GZZ towards the back of B. Plant then comes down and successful for Cloud9. C is being thrown inside as Zeppa gets the spray within the smoke. A 1v1 as the smoke dissipates. Arson. Jake loses that fight against Artazine, who then looks to the head to head against Zeppa. A satchel to break his crosshair placement as he looks to swing right back. But C9 are doing a good job to delay the spike. Finally, as Zeppa runs across, again. gets denied by Artazine. Showstopper available too. He's still going to use it at 3 HP. It's out. Back towards the baby door. Back towards the Hobbit. Shoots it down, but GZZ is the one that picks up the kill. A stick under the fuse. But it's not gonna work out for Vanity on the one versus three. Whippy watching the flank first, avoiding the boom bot, not shooting the shot, so has an opportunity to surprise some players. And no Nightfall will be used. Just simple utility for Cloud9 to move in. There you go, a late Nightfall that comes out towards the back of the C site. But the util comes back for my BR. Plant still comes down as FRZ gets that pick onto Oxy. 
three in sight. They don't know two are coming around from the flank either. It's just Mazin and FRZ waiting for this to come around from the outside. Yeah, it really comes down to those two players. You're just hiding and tucking in for the defenders to allow those flankers oh, to move paranoia. in. And that paranoia is going to also idiot. allow here MIBR to flood in as a team. And here it comes. Whippy and Jake, though, they get these picks oh. off through the remains. smoke. It's a one versus two for Fra. Now it comes in, misses the shots, finally connects, but runs out of bullets on the Vandal. Only has a classic, a tap on the spike, and it should be easy for Zeppo to win, and it will. Towards this side of the map, just a baby door encroach here. If Mazi needs to break out fast, uh-oh. Or just hold the corner if they break the baby door in, but instead, Oxy's trying to push forward with C9 to get three. On his side, under the belt, advantage Elno. The door's about to break, and that's Mazin winning right there. Boom, there's that first. Close range onto Jake, and they're dancing across the door. An opportunity to reload and try to jump back out. Pick to come out through. Oh. There's a ping in the back, though. They know that Whippy's on that flank, trying to get a timing here. Locked down to come out. Oh, what is oh my God. Gets, out. gets caught off. Spike gets picked up. But it's back A. Still has to left. get back to the site. 30 seconds here. Walking straight up the gut between both members of MIBR. 20 seconds left now. As a reposition you have from Mazin is smart. Back towards the B main. There's not enough time to move towards C. So the position is good at least for MIBR to try to left. win the 1v1. But instead, they're just going to wait to go for the double retake here. RGL trying to pinch back got towards one. Hobbit and just got spotted. Now here comes got the second two. peak. Now goes aggressive to isolate the first duel against Mazin. Nice Jealous little smoke shot. actually gives an opportunity once again. Oh, but that's even nicer for RGL. Because of that smoke, he has to swing out, and they're both waiting for him there. Kind of want to cycle that to somebody else. But for C9, after yeah. the timeout that was being used, they have, you mentioned, a lot of ults, and at the same time, a force by through it. So the Thrash gains some space. The dog actually slows down Oxy to not be able to get any surprise kills within the door, as Whippy was trying to pinch from behind. It's good for a one-for-one. -one. Rocket did do some damage onto JZZ down to 5 HP. So there's an opportunity to do something here. Lockdown being used. They're hiding behind it right now for C9. Except a fully flash as Jake gets the pick and the, oh, they both get detained. They both clear up though. Away. This is an opportunity for Zeppa just around. He does have a Vandal to work with at the same time. They're sticking onto the spike. He's running out. There's that Judge Vandal, but there's that kill. But the defuse allows here for Mazin to fall back safely as they're just looking to play the retake. <laughs> We've all missed him. We've all missed him. Uh, so in sight, the retake comes in. MIBR has been strong. Two kills instantly for MIBR. As C9 was trying to push towards the spawn. And now this gives an opportunity for MIBR to come back. Mazin's still alive. Has an orb. Think by also still available. Now they could tap within the spike. Not really set up here for Zephyr for the kill. They're just trying to play that distance. Up to Vanity alone. Has a thrash, but the defuse will come in for MIBR. Well, on the plate and not allow for them to fall back but we'll hold that thought c9's already pushing aggressively in the last round of the half and obviously opens up a thrash booming for paranoia to answer back on the defensive side jzz on the obvious oh, gets the pick of the jake and now the door opens with another one to fall only two players alive now for c9 with the spike still on the back of vanity who does get that pick onto rgl far range there another person falls and the advantage then comes back for c9 up to mazine alone nano swarm pushes him out could get a timing right over here. Orb now being picked up, knows that Vanity's there, just around the corner here of the tree. And now here is a turret. That's confirmation that there's not gonna be a backstab across. You want more? Here's more. Oh no. Uh, that's gonna suck. Appears towards the back of the site. He gets the timing throw oh! and he gets detained. <laughs> Time to dance, my friends. Wait, where is he? Where is he? Oh my god! They couldn't find him. He stayed behind. No shot. Somehow stays alive, but there's an alarm bot there to get the information as he walks across. Orb then comes down. Now they know he's towards that staircase. Vandal now for both Vanity and Whippy. The first contact will be Vanity, but Whippy's not looking to swing it back. Lots of time. They're just going to do two separate 1v1s that Vanity is Whoa. going to win. With the wall coming through, a flash available for JZZ, and there it is. Paranoia on top of that, and the first and second kills come in favor of the attacking side. Zeppa then still trying to stay alive as much as he can towards the rubble. 
Beautiful satchel to push him out of position. RC was trying to flank ASAP, but now he's blocked by his teammate Smokes, which gives him IBR an opportunity to move in within this A site and plant. Oh, if that turret wasn't there, Axie was gonna have such good timing coming around, but MIBR just has everything thought of at the moment. Again, they're both just gonna come from this base side on the left. Turret available, working together. Sheriff and Ghost first contact. Nice shot there from Oxy. The back side. Where's the communication? There's a third! Oxy on fire! Oxy kills MIBR! And C9 get the defuse and the pistol. Where did they go, though? Just trying to go for a decent plant. It was delayed slightly by yeah. Molly being thrown yeah. here. Amash put a showstopper out just to delay the plant. It works out close range oh, with the bucky, the bucky, but it gets dodged. C9 moving in, though, for these trades. Mazine and Artzine, the last two remaining, spike down out in the open as Artzine is still trying to move in, baiting out the shots. Zeppa flushed remaining. out and picked off. Vanity, a nice shot there, a 1v1, the jump long range with the judge, now the gun gets picked out, a tap there from Vanity to tie up. Going for alert place. Now the dog comes behind the door. Nightfall coming out from the defensive side of C9. Oxy just left. holding close. And the big battle now comes in towards the revolving door at the tree. Flash to come out, Zeppa playing the off angle, avoids the flash for the kill. And for Zito answers right back onto Oxy. Advantage for C9, but we're still looking for the plant. Everything is getting delayed so far because the thrash got picked up. Left. 10 seconds left, this might be it. Darjell gets that first pick, and now there yep. is no time. One enemy, one enemy remaining. It was a very weird round that we saw here on the attack from our yard. Yeah. And look at this push from C9. All of them forced down. MBR trying to push back towards the CT. Big paranoia to come across. Plant still comes in no matter what. An assist from the wingman to get the clap onto RG. Allowing Oxy to get his second ace of the DCT Americas. One episode. Right One episode. Now. 20 kills pretty Holy much. Holy crap. This, he is absolutely cooking right now and that was pressuring three 1v1s look at that that's, recognize me that's super sign four that's yeah. it looks like it's gonna be a quick one seekers out towards c and the rest of the hit comes through on the kj util Ooh. counter nano swarms but jake couldn't get the pick they're good that might stop the bleeding right here for mibr even coming out with a flawless would be huge nice utility to push them back another nano swarm in it's jzz which is spotted one towards the back of spawn but Zippa runs out, the trades come across, but Vanity once again stuck in a one versus two. He's clutched it before, and the Boombot's gonna spot him. The spike's down out in the open. Exactly, I'd say positioning here for Vanity if they don't double swing him. Could be, if they get on top of site, they might pit, make Vanity push into the Viper's pit, but it doesn't look yeah. like they're in position for that. I mean, you do it towards spawn. Oh, it's a satchel and set for the double swing. Ooh. Nicely done for MIBR. I mean, to win a round like that, nobody's moving mm -hmm. and staying behind towards this A side. But once again, it's MIBR using satchels, but not breaking too Good much damage. util. Turret comes out. Artisan's the one that's creating that space to waste that KJ util. There's a pit, but they have a nightfall and a showstopper on top of this. Vanity goes in. We answer back though with the lockdown on the attack. And there is that trade off and JZZ just lines up a few as they're trying to run back towards the waterfall. That might be it right there for C9 to just hold it back for a little bit more. I mean, if Jake and Whippy could do a little bit of damage here, but they're also low in the economy. Vandal upgrade for Jake to potentially get control of that orb so Vanity could have it in round number 23, but he falls back instead. Showstopper's up. Fuse has not been lit just yet, and it looks a little chaotic oh. for them to get into the site. Showstopper down. Try to get a timing through that. A nice shot from Oxy. And he is sitting down with the second headshot of the JZZ. Whippy still alive within the back of the site as his teammate falls down, but there comes Vanity and Jake from the top of heaven. Trying to go for a double backstab here. So the door being opened up for Mazine to fall back within B. And FRZ will cut the rotation. The thing with only having really one path to victory when C9's putting you down that hard is I think C9 read the same thing, that those alts would be used round after round and the orb focus for Artisan was going to happen this round here. We saw how big that C9 collapsed on that area right after the alt came in. It was pure left. chaos. Now leaving here the plant to Mazin. 
It'll be a retake for C9. Very important here. And Vanity's scaling this up alone back towards the spawn. They have to be. I think every corner is held by a member of MIBR. And FRZ is always so good on these lurk moments to actually put a lot of impact within the round. There is that swing. Vanity. Wide one to get the headshot onto FRZ. He's Some not stay, he's a still big swinging. plant there for Mazin. He actually has to stay within the site. So it's planet within. He's holding towards the water. There's no utility except for the Dizzy here for Vanity. So technically, potentially even a four versus one for the retake. Nice angle on the top in front of the C site. But Jake gets the wall. MABR is pushing towards C. They even want to fight towards Where are they the going? waterfall. Holy. They're going for it right now, and they're trying to pinch within the B site. Oh, Why not from Jake? Crazy pressure. That is not going to be good here for MIBR. I see. Feel like their hands forced to plant within the C site. Jake just got eyes on the, from the shadows, so they're pretty good to wait this out. And wait as well for Zeppa to get here along with Vanity, and they are going to nail this site. Paranoia is not there. A smoke to use, though. Guardians, all that's left. RGL gets that first pick, and a second one. The flick on the third will not happen as Vandy closes the series as Cloud9 takes it over. MIBR. Cloud9 had to 